Hey now, it's still Friday, December 8th. I'm still in my clothes that I filmed Bucky Harrison. You still see the Jim Leland and all the different setup behind me. Uh, I'm going to try and push through another autograph analysis, and that is of Leo Gabby Hartnett. Uh, he was called Gabby, like the gift of Gab, because of the fact that uh, he was so quiet and shy. Kind of ironic, I know, right? So i to fix my glasses. And so he got the name Gabby Hartnett. And that's how, I mean, I got to know him and studying him. But it was interesting. He was considered the greatest catcher of the National League until Johnny Bench. I mean, both from an offensive and a defensive perspective, he was the original starting catcher in the 1933 All-Star game. Uh, when he retired, he led all catchers in the following categories, home runs, runs batted in, hits, and doubles. So that's pretty impressive. Plus, he was an outstanding catcher. So uh, he was not elected to the Hall of Fame until his 12th year of eligibility. Uh, I believe that was 1955. I'm like, yeah, 1955. But he lived to 1972, and he was a very good TTM autograph person. So... Gabby Hartman autographs, and we're going to go through them real quickly here. They are not, I'm sorry, not rare at all. They're very common, uh, except for obviously the signed baseballs. They're fairly cheap, given that he passed away in 1972. But like I said, he was around baseball for a long time after he passed away. So, and he has a beautiful autograph. I mean, he's got one, probably one of the nicest autographs in the Hall of Fame. So without any further ado, let's take a look at the autograph analysis of Leo, well, Charles Leo Gabby Hartnett. So again, we're starting with the PSA database right here. We'll start zooming in. And most of the autographs you're going to see until later in life, he signed Leo Gabby Hartnett. And the L is a big, beautiful L. You're going to see a break, then a Leo, then the Gabby right here. And again, the L and the G should be the highest points of the autograph. Uh, usually the H right here is higher than this H right here. And also usually like Bucky Harris before the Y attaches to the H. However, this H will come back right through. Usually the T connects to the rest. He goes through and connects to the rest. Usually has this pair up at the bottom. And again, there should be no hesitations. There's very rare. I see any. I found one fake Gabby Hartnett uh, autograph. And we'll show a little bit in a second here. Uh, real quickly, Ron talks about some like has fake art view signed postcards. I couldn't find any. So he said there's hesitation in the autograph. So, but again, big, beautiful L, big, beautiful G. And again, the Y connects to the H. This H is higher than this H. It connects through the T. Even though it doesn't connect right here, you can see it goes all the way across. Now, this kind of baseball is probably a $5,000 baseball. They are quite expensive. They are very rare. Again, this is an earlier autograph of Leo Gabby Hardman. But again, it still has the trademarks, what you want to see. The L comes down right here. There's a break. The Gabby is right here. It's signed with a lot of flares you can see right here. Also, a nice, neat plane that you can see sign up. No pair up at the bottom. The T doesn't connect. A little different. The Y doesn't connect to the H. Again, probably because of the fact that this is an earlier autograph government postcard, which Ron says are not that rare at all. Again, this is probably a $1 to $200 autograph. Again, this is another beautiful autograph, Leo. Again, the L cuts right through everything. There's a break between the L and the rest of his name. The Gabby, the G is very high. The second part of his H is higher than the first part. The T connects all the way through everything. Again, signed on a nice playing, uh, nice playing. Again, this is probably a government postcard signed a little bit later on because the G now connects to the H. But again, this H is higher up, has the pair up. Again, signed on a nice playing right here. I mean, when you see a Gabby Harden in an autograph, you know it's real. It feels real. This is one of those. I'm, I'm rushing you through this. Again, he signed Gabby Harden, and it probably is signed later on towards the end of his life, which is still a beautiful autograph. Obviously, it's signed after he got in the Hall of Fame. You can see it right here. There's no Leo, but it's still the Y connects to the H all the way through. The T comes all the way through the letter, which you want to see. A nice paragraph at the bottom. So, Hopefully you're getting a feel. Uh, sign checks. Sign checks are a little rare. I, I personally like the sign checks. Uh, I mean, I'll spoil it right now. This is what I have in my collection. There's a sign check as well. Uh, I like it because, hey, these checks, if you ever see one, they're really like really big checks. They're not like your standard big check. And it's tough to see in a photo. I didn't know that until I got mine in the mail. But, again, it's signed Charles L. Hartnett, which is a little odd. I don't see ever besides legal documents where he signed his full First legal name, Charles. Usually it's Leo. So, again, we can't see that. But, again, these are not rare autographs. I mean, we've gone through them all. I mean, I went out to eBay, and they all look good. I mean, you can see right here, they don't sell. You can buy a baseball for 2700 
I mean, if we go real quickly to the sold section, and I haven't done this yet. Uh, I'm just curious what they're selling for. Like, we go at the highest price. Now, again, you can see $100 for just like a cut. And that's probably high because Probstein. Again, here's a signed baseball, $424. That's not a lot of money. And again, it looks good. I, I think the autograph's good. Uh, usually the yellow postcards he's signed in this upper corner right here. You don't get the full Leo Gabby Hartnett like you're getting again, the black and white ones where he signed those at the bottom down here. So usually with these, again, I think they're all good. I don't know a reason for them to be bad. But he's signed on the upper corner, very small, just the Gabby Hartnett. His autograph got a little smaller as it's going on. Again, even a beautiful government postcard like this. Only sold probably for two hundred dollars. I think it's to sort this by the highest price. And anyway, I think these are all good. Yeah, you could just sort by this. The highest one is four hundred twenty-four dollars. He died in nineteen seventy-seven. I don't know what that went for, but so you can see, not an expensive autograph. Like I said, the later on in life, he's got rid of the Leo. He just started the Gabby. But if you hold off for a little bit, you can get a beautiful autograph like this for two hundred dollars. Uh, the one bad one I wanted to show is this one. Uh, I don't know what's going on right here. It's just, it just as soon as you see it, someone just tried a little too hard to get it. And of course, if you go down here, it says, uh, this is my favorite. I cannot verify or deny the authenticity. I have prices. So if you'd like to send the link, bah, 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 it might be worth it. If I authenticate it myself, I'll be raising the price significantly because it's not real. Come on, come on. It's not real. So yeah, again, not a lot of time on Gabby Hartnett because he's not a rare autograph at all. And it's just a beautiful autograph. He's out there. And speaking of out there and not that rare, we're going to move on to the next one. Uh, we talked about Joe West a little earlier. We're going to move on to God. God. Yes, God. God was the nickname for an umpire. Umpire Doug Harvey. So as always, keep collecting.